morning, beautifuls. Look at Juby's nose prints. It's a gorgeous day outside today. It's a beautiful day. It's such a beautiful day that I literally slept in and I enjoyed it. Rest is part of the process. Out of our grief to gratitude deck today, rest is part of the process. Proper rest is needed, especially when healing um, and especially when we're doing a lot of stuff. A lot of people in our collective, we're, we're hustling, we're getting it done, we're exploring that spirituality road, we're exploring everything else that comes with it, because when you start doing one thing, everything else follows. Grief recovery cakes, oh, I found a spelling mistake in the book. Grief recovery takes time, integration, and so much love and patience. If you have the book on page E5, <laughs> it takes time. Well, cake also helps. Rest is needed in the healing process. We can go on and on, but eventually we'll have to rest, and it can be by choice or our bodies choose for us. Now, a lot of times when we refuse to rest, we'll suffer things like exhaustion, burnout, we'll get ill, we'll not be feeling well, right? Having proper rest is important. And now proper rest... What I mean by proper rest is sitting and enjoying the rest, not worrying about what needs to be done. Don't have like a hundred million things that you could, should, and would be doing if you weren't forcing yourself to rest. This takes practice, especially if you're not used to having the rest or allowing yourself to rest, giving yourself permission for that rest, right? So to get the job done well, we need to have a well-rested brain, nourished, hydrated, and rested. Let's find a card for today. Also writing in my book, October 8th. Today I am grateful for sleeping in. <sighs> it's a Sunday. I haven't had to set an alarm. I was able to have an honest sleep in, not worrying about the clock or anything. And I am usually an early riser, so like sleeping in is sleeping in. Um, yeah, my body has a natural alarm clock in it also. So when I intend to sleep in without an alarm clock, my body and my mind agree with me now versus having to fight it and going back to sleep, going back to sleep. This is something I enjoy doing every once in a while. I love my mornings also. I'm such a morning person. I'm an all night person. I'm an every time of the day person. But waking up, I do not have a problem getting up and out of bed, being in a good mood. And I also enjoy those days that I get to rest. Rest is part of the process. All right, our gratitude is in our journal. Now it's time for a card. Today's card is going to be with the Wild Offering Oracle. Yesterday's gratitude practice came out as a short, so I will also put that link in here. Um, if you missed it, it kind of messed up the pattern on the page, but I will link it. This card is Ambition. May I offer all my deepest longings to love itself and invite a divine plan beyond the mind's imagining. Please use me for the highest good. Ooh. We also get our inspiration and allow the divine to use us for our highest good when we allow rest. Ooh, I love how these all add up. They all line up. Thank you for joining us for the... Daily Gratitude Challenge. 365 Days of Gratitude. We're going to go as far as we can go. A little ding. A little ding. Right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for doing your personal gratitude practice. And if you have the gratitude book, follow along, write in it. Absolutely, it is available for everybody. All right, my friends, so much love and light. I hope your day is amazing, and I'll see you again tomorrow.